All right, so it's a quick video here, sort of a response to some questions about my last video on the uh, Emacs OpenIPC, the Wyvern link. So um, one of the questions was, can you use the two watt receiver with the uh, 100 milliwatt VTX? And the answer is yes, they do work there. Just have to make sure that the uh, GS keys are matching, which in this, in this particular case, Emacs sent them out with matching keys, so they connected up no problem. Another thing is um, about the power rating on the receivers. It has to do with power consumption. So apparently in their design, they're doing something where um, the receiver is going to be doing more, is going to consume more power based on things that are going on in the background. And I'm not too under, I don't really understand it completely. Maybe like there's some sort of like signal boosting going on, something like that. Whereas the, I think the other one was... Um, I forget how the power rating of the other one was smaller one was like maybe less than one watt and this was like two watts and the other, this one's obviously bigger so that's what that is there's it may be for like some future designs I honestly don't know um, basically it has to do with power consumption so it kind of has to do with how much battery you're going to need if you're going to be using the bigger one so the one that the bigger one the two watts using more battery so just keep that in mind when you're you're actually using it out and um, when you're flying and stuff, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, the other thing was the frame rate kind of jitters that people were seeing on the, the recording. So I just used the phone that Emacs sent me. It was like as an Oppo Find X. It's from like 2018 or 2019. It's pretty old. Um, but it does a decent job with decoding the uh, video stream. Now, I just used the on... Uh, I guess the onboard or the built-in screen recorder that's, that comes with the phone and it's not very good and I think that's where the source of the jitters were from. I didn't experience these jitters when I was actually flying. Uh, it's something to do with the recording so it was it recorded the file in like 50 frames per second, actually 49 frames per second and the, the video timeline I was using was a 29.97 frames per second video so that's where the the frame rate difference was causing that sort of weird jitter in the video. At least that's what I think. So uh, there's something new that just came out that I just found out about. It's called Pixel Pilot. It's the it's based on the uh, FP View, the one that was out before. But there's a new project here, and basically it's the same thing with a few enhancements. And but the biggest enhancement is that it allows you to directly record the video stream to an MP4 file on the phone so it's um let me show you their website i'll put this in the description it's a github page and you can go there and read about what this project is i'm not gonna read this here you can just go click the link in the description and you want to go down to releases here and we'll just click on this and you want to download that pixelpilot.apk file and then install it to your Android phone. And again, um, no iOS solutions yet for um, this project yet, as far as I know. If someone knows, let me know. There's a, there's a lot of stuff going on that I am barely aware of. And I'm just finding out stuff and I'm reporting it to you guys as I discover them. So I, there's like people uh, complaining that uh, I shouldn't be making videos because I'm not an expert. Well. Sorry, I'm going to make videos because I want to just share my findings, and that's what my YouTube channel is all about. Um, you're welcome to come along on the journey with me, or don't watch. I don't really care. So, you know, I'm going to make a lot of these small videos, update you on things I find out and learn, because things are changing all the time, and I'm finding stuff out as I go along. And, um, you know, one of the things that, oh, in terms of the recording on this one here, uh, the it seems to be recording based on the screen resolution of the phone so this is a 1920 by 1080 and the the screen on here is a 60 hertz screen so it, it i think it's using a variable frame rate which is probably not great for um posting these things on youtube it's gonna be better than the other screen recorder but i'm gonna have to i think what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to um re-encode the video file so it's a constant frame rate because it's around 60 frames per second based on the 
I think of the, the screen refresh rate of the phone that you're using the particular model. So you guys can try it out if you haven't had this, the Wyvern, if you've gotten that. I'm pretty sure this work on the uh, run cam as well, but you'll have to, uh, I haven't tested it yet, but I think you have to do some stuff with the GS key stuff. Again, after my run cam video, I explained that. Go back and watch that video. Um, but that's it. That's all I'm reporting for now. Hopefully, hopefully this will improve uh, the way the videos look going forward. Uh, and I'm going to uh, try some other stuff out so that, like, you saw the last video where I was kind of, uh, I, I don't really like flying through the phone, and I'm not really sure if it's because of the phone screen, so I'm going to try and switch to my S22 Ultra, which has a 120 hertz screen, and see if that makes a difference between that versus the 60 hertz screen. And I'm going to try and go into the settings here. Um, there's that dongle that plugs into the VTX or the camera board, then you can change camera settings and other other settings like, for example, the bit rate. People are saying, why are you flying at four megabits? It's because I flew it uh, based on the settings that were sent by Emacs. I haven't changed any settings yet. I haven't actually, I haven't figured that out yet. So I've got to figure that out. I'm going to, I'm going to play around with the different bit rates, uh, screen resolutions, frame rates. You're going to see all that in future videos and I'll uh, explain how things change over time so you guys get, get an understanding of my experiences. That's what all these videos are about, that's why they're short. And uh, yeah, for those of you that are looking for like, you know, the one uh, 30 minute video that explains everything A to Z of this system, you're not going to get that probably for anybody because it's things are just changing too fast. So if I spent like three months making a video, it's going to be outdated in a few days. It's it's not it's like not even worth my time to make that kind of video. So you're gonna you're gonna learn as I learn, and then uh, things are gonna evolve as things become more sort of standardized and more solid. Then I'll make sort of more in-depth videos. But for now, this is what you're gonna get. If you don't like it, you know that's fine. Just wait. There'll be more in-depth videos later. But I'm just going to put out stuff as I discover them. Um, you know, it's early days, so hang hang in there. Things are going to develop. Things are developing fast. Again, this new app, I didn't even know about it. And it's great. It records directly to a file on your phone. Uh, it's perfect for uh, what I want to do on YouTube. Okay, that's going to do for this video. Talk to you guys later.